I'm going to answer this question, first of all, by not really referencing the large data set, um, which, which this sort of question is from. So we're being asked to work out the height of a histogram block from zero to four class, first of all. And that means we're going to need to work out the frequency density, which is the frequency divided by the class width. Once we've got that, we'll have it in some sorts of units. We need to convert it into centimeters, but that will actually will just involve dividing it by a thousand. So the question is, how are we going to work out um, the frequency and how are we going to work out the class width? Well, the frequency is right here. So it's just two, one, four, three. And the class width is right here, or is it? Actually, it, when we measure age, we tend to say something like zero to four, and the next one would be maybe five to eight or something. Um, there wouldn't be overlap. You wouldn't get four to eight because then you wouldn't know which box to put it in. The question is, where does it go if you say four and a half? And if you're four and a half years old, you still say that you're four years old. So this actual um, sort of class would be zero less than or equal to X less than five. And as long as you're less than five years old, you're still four years old. So the class width is actually going to be five. Very easy to make a mistake on this question and write four. You still actually get one mark for that. But to get four marks, you need to use five. Once you work this out with the calculator, you'll get 428.6. And then that's in units. Um, so, or units per year, I suppose, but whatever the units are. And then we need to convert it into centimeters. So it's going to be 428.6 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.4286. We tend to round answers to three significant figures. So 0 0.4 four to nine centimeters. That's the actual answer. So just be careful. Whenever you see age, be aware of this sort of situation. For B, um, why can't we draw a histogram for data that's on method of travel? Well, even if you've never seen it, and that's what I'm assuming in this question, method of travel is going to be things like driving a car, going on the bus, going by train, this is not continuous data, and a histogram uses continuous data. So something along the lines of um, the me method of travel will be discrete data. We'll get you the marks. And if we just quickly look at the large data set, we see um, for age structure, this is actually what's in the large data set, zero to four, five to seven, and so on. So even if you are familiar with it, you have to remember about this little subtlety that it's gonna be zero to five for the for this uh, age group, and um, then it would be five to eight, and so on. And if you're looking at method of travel, then here are the examples that it's there. You can see it's discrete data.